The Association of Medicine and Analytics presents Tests for the Express Diagnosis of the Helicobacter pylori Infection. The Helic Test To perform the Helic Test, endoscopic equipment will not be required. No need for it. The bacteria may be detected through a non-invasive breath method. The Helic Test allows one to detect infection quickly, precisely, and safely. The air from the patient's mouth is drawn through the helic indicator tube. The tube contains an indicator which shows an obvious change in color to signal the presence of Helicobacter pylori infection. During the course of the test, the reception color in the tube changes. The helic test is safe and does not require endoscopy. That is why it's widely used in pediatrics. The tubes are made of a soft polymer, not glass. The test is quick. Your test will take 10 to 15 minutes. The test is easy. Sensitivity of the test is 95%. The specificity of the test is 97%. The helix test is designed and produced in Russia. Both tests are performed on an empty stomach no less than three hours after the last meal. Open the indicator tube by cutting the closed ends and then connect the indicator tube to the hose of the microcompressor. Place the indicator tube in the patient's mouth in such a way that it does not touch either the tongue or palate. Switch on the microcompressor and take the breath air for the time period indicated on the compressor. Do not let the patient's saliva enter the tube. The patient's mouth should be slightly open. The patient should not blow into the tube, but exhale normally. If saliva accumulates, the patient can withdraw the tube from the mouth, swallow, and then place the tube back in the mouth. The indication reception color can change to dark blue, depending on the ammonia concentration in the patient's breath. This tube indicates infection. Have the patient drink 0.5 grams of urea dissolved in 20 millimeters of warm water, then 50 millimeters of water, preferably with gas. Repeat the test. We attach the other end of the tube to the microprocessor and repeat the test. The length of the blue indication is measured prior to and after the patient taking the urea. If the length is greater than 2 millimeters, it is deemed to be positive. The results are ambiguous between 1 and 2 millimeters and are deemed to be negative if less than 1 millimeter. 